Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making baked ziti. And the ingredients for baked ziti is oregano and basil. That's the herbs. Those are the herbs that I'm going to be using. Garlic, onions, tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes, uh, two cans of 28 ounce uh, tomato sauce. If I need another one, let's say I put all of it together and I feel that it's too thin, I might add another one, but I will let you know if I need it. Then I have meat. I had this um, in the freezer so I took it out, defrosted it. You could use fresh but I had this. Why waste it? Um, and I measured it. I put it on a scale to make sure that I knew exactly what I was putting in there because there's been instances where I've bought things from um, you know, wholesalers, let's say like BJ's or Costco's and I don't really know what the weight is of each individual uh, meat product because I bought it in bulk. So I actually took the scale out, measured it, this was two pounds, and it's exactly what I need. Then for the filling, I have Pecorino Romano. You can use Parmesan, I just like the flavor of Pecorino Romano. I have a pound of mozzarella cheese, which I'm gonna shred. I have two pounds of ricotta cheese, and I have one pound of, um, excuse me, penne. Now, I didn't have um, ziti in the house, and I wasn't going to let that stop me. Penne is very much similar to um, ziti, and if I had ziti, that's what I would have used. Now, depending on, because I think I've said it before, because I've always... Um, gauged how much I cooked and never really measured. I'm going to gauge if this is enough um, penne for the recipe. If I feel uh, as I'm putting the sauce together that I need a little more penne, then I will uh, make a little more. But when I get to that stage, if I need it, I will let you know. Hello and welcome to Yota's Kitchen. I'm getting ready to make my um, meat sauce for the big TV and I'm just putting in the onions I'm going to saute them for a few minutes and then I'm going to be adding the garlic in there that um, I had already minced I'm going to just let it cook a little bit but in the meantime I'm going to put my oregano in and my oregano it's about a tablespoon and a half and one teaspoon of basil Basil, I don't, I find it a little bitter, so I don't put as much in there, let's say, as I might um, oregano. And I'm going to be adding salt and pepper also once I have the meat in there and I have the meat all um, cooked and it's, um, it's not pink anymore. Uh, at that point, I will be adding the tomato sauce and um, I will also see at that point if I need another can of crushed tomatoes. But anyway, so here's the the onion. I'm gonna add the garlic now. And again, that's minced garlic with three cloves. And I will be back when I'm on the next stage or at the next stage. And I'm getting ready to put in the salt and pepper. I have um, three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of pepper that's black pepper and I am just gonna pour it over there you go and I'm just gonna stir that in and I ended up um, opening up another can of tomato uh, crushed tomato uh, because I think that two cans are not gonna be enough I'd rather have a little more liquid than less um, because, you know, yeah, you can't remove it after you put it in, but it's better to have a little extra than not enough. So here's my one can, two cans, and three cans. And I'm just going to stir that in really well and I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit probably a few hours uh, until all the flavors are incorporated 
and then I'll come back and by then I should have my penne uh, cooked and again I'm using penne because I didn't have any big ziti or ziti in the house um, and penne looks very similar to ziti and since that's the only thing I had uh, that's what I'm using so anyway there's my tomato my meat sauce and I'm gonna let it cook just like I said and I'll be back when I'm at that stage I'll see you in a little bit thank you hello and welcome to Yota's kitchen I wanted to show you my meat sauce it's been cooking for about two hours now and I ended up adding another um, little bit of salt probably equaling a total to one teaspoon from the three-fourths that I had added earlier uh, now you might not need it for yours it all depends on your taste and if you feel that it needs a little more salt or not when you make your own but I also have my penne pasta cooking and it's almost done it needs a few more minutes uh, to get to al dente but in the meantime I have my pan waiting this is where I'm gonna be assembling the ziti and in this pan I added the ricotta cheese the mozzarella cheese and about um, almost a cup of uh, microplaned uh, cheese which is totally different than if you just grated the cheese without microplaning it microplaning it basically fluffs it up a little bit so if I were to let's say do this in a regular grater and the cheese was a little finer then that means it probably would be about a fourth of a cup uh, but because I microplaned it it looks a little bit uh, more cheese than it really is so I will come back when I'm ready to assemble just so you can see what that step is thank you okay so here's my um, penne I creamed it all together or I blended it all together and just because I want the flavor of salt to go throughout I'm adding a little salt to it I'm going to mix it up just a little more and then I am going to start putting it in. See how creamy that is? You want to make sure you have enough um, of the ricotta and cheese in there because you want it to be creamy like this. Okay, so in my pan I just put a little sauce, not too much meat because I want to add my macaroni right on top of it. So what I'm going to do is just continue putting in the pasta and I will be back when I'm finished with the whole first layer and I'll show you what I do now. So I packed in my macaroni or my penne really well as you can see. I didn't leave any parts without any macaroni and then I'm going to take my meat sauce and I'm going to pour it on top. And then I'm just going to make sure that all areas are covered really well. And then I'm going to layer more penne pasta. And when I'm done with that section I'll be back to show you the next step welcome back um, I just wanted to show you that top layer before I added the meat sauce now as you can see I have a lot of juice all around the pan and I don't want it to become so juicy you know or that it overflows from the pan so the rest of the meat I am using uh, a spatula that has a lot of holes in underneath to get all the extra liquid out and I'm gonna be just pouring it on top and then I'm gonna be spreading it out too so I just wanna make sure that I get as much meat sauce in there without the extra liquid so then that way it doesn't become too saturated with tomato sauce because we want the meat to stand out a little bit. And you can hear that. I'm 
and then I'm just going to take the spoon that I used um, to stir in all the, the ricotta and everything. It doesn't matter if it has a little cheese on it. And I'm just going to spread this out all the way through just to make sure that it's even. And it is, it is a big pan. And then I'm going to take my Pecorino Romano and I'm going to dust it right over making sure that I have all of it with a little bit of cheese on it and then I'm gonna I reserve some cheese some mozzarella cheese and I'm just gonna pour it right on top making sure that I cover everything And then I'm going to stick it in my oven for, I'm going to check it after 45 minutes. I don't want it, anything to burn. But um, it usually takes about an hour to make once you put it in the oven. And, and then I'll come back and I'll take it out and I'll show you what that result is. So I will see you in a little bit. Thank Hello and welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I just took my big ziti out of the oven. I had decided to leave it on just five more minutes because it wasn't dark enough and now that I took it out it's a little too dark but not burnt. But uh, anyway, I'm going to cut it into pieces in a few minutes. I'm going to let it cool down because as you can see it's still bubbling around the edges and I will show you what that looks like when I get back. Thank you. Welcome back to Yota's Kitchen. I just wanted to show you my baked ziti, o penne ziti, or however you want to call it. Uh, just make sure that you, when you do take it out of the pan, that it's cool. Otherwise, it tends to break apart. So, um, I hope you enjoy this segment of Yota's Kitchen. And ziti, as you can see. It stayed formed, and that, again, was because I let it sit a little bit, let it cool cool down where everything wasn't so hot within the ziti, where then it just fell apart. Um, I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you try it. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much.